Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Also, I give away the demo card, so if you're a first time subscriber, put your email in the comments and I'll email you back and let you know if you won the card. Also, make sure you watch the video all the way through because you never know, I might give the card away to anyone or I might do, be doing card kits or swaps or something. So anyway, now let's go make a card. Today's card is the last in my Pansy Patch series. And what I'm doing here is just inking from the Pansy Patch. Now, I've got two cards here. Um, I wasn't sure if I liked this one so much so I made the black and white one and I think I like it better. So we're gonna do this one. And the, really the only difference is I used real red on this flower here. And the paper, the DS paper is from, today's card is a final card in the Pansy Patch Sweet series. And the reason why I did so many videos is because there were just so many ways to utilize the stamp and the die set along with the DS paper as well. And the first one that I did is I die cut on white paper and I colored it. I used daubers and I actually inked it up. So this was the first one. The second one is I die cut on solid paper and die cut and layered it together. The third one is I die cut the DS paper and I put it together. The fourth one is I stamped and I die cut out the stamped. And then the last one, I actually made two cards because I didn't know if I liked this one so much. That was my first one. And then this is my second one. And all I did on this one is I just stamped. So there's really five different ways, and I'm sure there are even more, that you can utilize this suite. So today I think we're gonna be making the black and white card. And really the only difference is the DS paper here is Pansy Petals where this one is pattern play. I also used uh, real red in this flower and the sentiment, but the insides are the same. So this was kind of a cute card and let's go ahead and let me show you really quick what I did on the inside and go ahead and go back um, on my last four videos and you can see these here. So that's the inside. This one, a lady named Sharon is getting this card today. I'm putting it in the mail. And I was gonna do it yesterday, I'm so glad I didn't because I, uh, I need to do all of these cards because whoever orders the Pansy Patch Suite from me, either the bundle or the suite, will get all five of these demo cards. You will also get, in the other videos I went through and I showed you, I had little samples of all the inks that I did for the stamping. And I also did samples of when I was coloring them. So you get all the samples and the five demo cards. So go to Noreen Brungart at stampinup.net. It's in the comments on my video along with all the supplies that I ever use on my cards and a way to get a hold of me. And you can win the demo card like Sharon won this card. So this one is no longer available. And, but these two cards are, this one is, this one is, and this one is. So go on those videos and say, uh, I wanna win the demo card and leave your email address. I can't contact you unless you leave your email and then uh, you could win the demo card. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make this card. So to make this card, and this is just stamping. In fact, the only die cutting we're gonna do is this part here and the sentiment and the sentiment inside. And we're gonna be using Hippo and Friends and inspiring canopy. So we're gonna grab a basic black five and a half by four and a quarter, and then take a basic white five and a half by four and a quarter. And in this inspiring canopy die set is this little wiggly little die. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape this onto the paper and die cut it like an angle. So I'm, I just kind of guessed it. I really didn't give a measurement. So just given enough to get your cards in. So I just guessed it about here. So I'm gonna go tape this on and die cut it out. Here's that die. Like I said, I taped it on here and I've got about two and a quarter inches by about four inches on these two sides, just to give you an idea. And the piece that we really want is this top piece here. So gently take off 
your tape and we're going to use this just for some other project and put your die to the side and this is the piece we're going to stamp on so now we're going to stamp the flower and we're going to be using these four stamps right here and i've got them all mounted up and we're going to be using pale papaya and bermuda bay are the two colors that i'm using also grab a stampin pad if you don't have a stampin pad go to the body of my video it shows all the the supplies i'm using and all the links you can just click on the link and place an order it's really easy so i'm going to take some scratch paper on top of this um, stampin mat and i'm going to grab this outline or this uh, solid one first so this is the first one and i'm going to put it in pale papaya and i also like to put my stamping pad on the pad itself and I'm gonna just put it right down here in the corner okay and then I'm going to grab some Bermuda Bay and stamp it up and I'm gonna stick my head in the camera sorry and I'm just looking through and I'm lining it up so you should be able to look right through that and then and so that was this one here and now I'm gonna grab we're gonna do the two middle pieces, which is this one and that one. So this one is first, and we're gonna go pale papaya again, and I'm gonna look through it, watch my head, and right like that, and then Bermuda Bay, and I'm gonna look through the window again and stamp it on like so. Now, this is a really good time to grab your base piece, the, the first one we did, and stamp this out three times in just copy paper do not use stampin up paper don't use any kind of good paper use basic copier paper the real cheap thin stuff because what we need to do is we need to make a mask and if you stamp on stampin up paper or anything of any kind of quality what's going to happen when you do this mask because that's how i got these to kind of overlap themselves you're going to create a pretty big halo so and you don't want to use the dies either because on the dies they also naturally create a halo i don't know if you can tell with the ds paper there's some white around it so you can't die cut it so use the crummy little cheap um copy paper and i want you to fussy cut three of these flowers out so i'm gonna do that and i'll be right back so i've fussy cut three of those flowers and now i'm going to take one of them and i'm going to use this tape you know i always use this tape it's from the big box store we don't need to mention the name anyway but there's a green version of it i know it's in a pink box but i just lost the box anyway so the green version of the same uh tombow tape is terrible tape but what it is is great for masking so just put a little bit over because it won't it'll stick but not permanently stick at all in any way shape or form so i'm going to take that and i taped it and i'm going to mask over that first flower here now we're going to stamp our second flower so we're going to take the base piece and i'm going to put it next to it like and just overlap it a little bit so you're going to hit the mask on the first flower and we're going to grab the Bermuda Bay and pretty much just do the same thing. I'm going to stick my head in the camera again that we did on the first flower here. And then back to Pale Papaya and then Bermuda Bay. And I picked these colors because I liked how they looked on my sample cards. So here's all my sample cards. And the, this was really nice to have when... I was trying to match things up and like i said whoever orders the pansy patch either bundle or sweep for me uh, can get all these samples for free you get all those samples and all the demo cards now i'm going to grab my silicone craft sheet again these are fantastic this keeps my glass clean so it keeps all the glue from getting everywhere so i'm going to snail with the uh, masking tape with the green tape and put that mask over the next flower and then i'm going to do it again because there are three of these three of these pansies and this one i'm gonna have go off the side but not on the bottom it's gonna go off the top but i didn't want it to go on the bottom i just thought it would look better and then bermuda bay 
and I'm gonna stick my head in the camera you can tell I have red hair and just like so and remember you got to have your scratch piece of paper underneath so you don't get ink on anything and then pale papaya and of course Bermuda Bay as the last one there you go so now you want to mask that last flower so grab the the green masking tape and put a mask over that last flower and now we're going to do the leaves so with the leaves you're going to use soft succulent and evening evergreen these are like the perfect colors for anything you know tree related and then we're going to be using the uh kind of lo the longer leaf and the shorter leaf and there's a, a background and an overlay background and an overlay so i've got them all mounted here i'm going to start with the longer leaf first in soft succulent you want your lighter color on the bottom and i'm starting with this one because i'm going to put it in the places that have more room so i'm going to put it there and then maybe one here and i'm actually stamping on the mask i don't know if you can tell and then up and then i'm going to put um i'm going to grab the shorter uh background of the leaf and i'm going to put one here and maybe parts of one going up here maybe parts of one going up here and maybe up here okay then we're going to go to the evening evergreen and there are two overlays this is the longer one and this longer one will go right here and i only did two of them so the other one's here and then get the shorter one for the shorter an evening evergreen and i'm going to stamp this one here and this one here and then these other two here so one here and then one here now for the big reveal we're going to be taking off the mask the other thing about this tape is it won't leave anything there and if it does just it comes right off it'll just wiggle off so there there and like so now if you have any halos you can take one of these uh blender pens that stampin up has and just make sure there's no ink on it like i have a little bit of red on there and that one's running clear and if there's any kind of white halo you can take a little bit of that evening evergreen from the leaf and kind of fill it in a little bit and it'll take care of that little halo like there's a little bit of halo here or if you even want to grab the ink itself and then just dip it in and then stamp off make sure it's not too dark and you can fill it in like this and it'll cover up those halos just like that now you're going to cut a piece of pattern play this is a great uh paper set ds paper you get a lot more um, paper in it there's lots of 12 by 12 sheets so this is a really good one and let's go ahead and snail this to our five and a half by four and a quarter basic black base and i'm just going to line it up and put it on like so now take the piece that you just did and put a whole bunch of dimensionals on here so i'm going to do that take off the paper backs and I'll be right back. So I put a whole bunch of dimensionals there and now make sure you got the correct opening here. I'm gonna put this on the very top like so. Now we're gonna make the sentiment tags and what you're gonna take is the two largest dies here from Hippo and Friends and you're gonna cut the large one in basic black and the next one in basic white and then take the large one again and cut one out for the inside. So we're gonna take the inside piece and put it to the side. And then we're gonna grab the sentiment from Pansy Patch, a little hello from me to you. And we got our Bermuda Bay back out. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment here. And just put it right there in the middle. And while we've got our stamping pad out and everything, let's go ahead and stamp the inside. And the inside just says, thank you. And thank you is also from Pansy Patch and it's right there. So we're gonna grab the thank you 
and that other piece that I had you put to the side. And I'm going to stamp it right at the top. All right, now you can put it to the side. I went ahead and dimensionaled my white piece. And guess what? I'm going to put it down right on my silicone craft sheet because guess what? It's not going to stick. Another awesome thing about it. If you want to get one, go in the body of my video and you can place an order. There's a little link and you can click on it. And then I'm going to grab the black piece first before I put them together. And I'm going to put this on the card. Here, this is just a better way of doing it because if you put them together and then you try to snail, it's just cumbersome. So I like to put this on first when I remember. <laughs> and then here's the dimensionals. All the little papers are off and I'm going to stick this here. And then we got to do the fun part and that's decorating the card. So I'm using the rhinestone uh, basic jewels, the holiday ones and the matte black dots, which I absolutely love. And I am taking the lighter green, the big ones, and I'm just placing them wherever the, you know, the card dictates because you can never stamp it exactly the same so like there's more space on uh, up there than this one anyway so um, I'm just going to place them wherever and you can use the smaller ones if you'd like I just uh, chose to do this and maybe like one more over I don't know here and then we're going to take our black ones and I thought black would be good for the inside the flower because uh you know, we're doing that black white thing and I'm going to put them here. And then that is the front of the card. Now let's do the inside. The inside is super simple. You're going to take another piece of that pattern play and you're going to cut this one five and a half by four and three sixteenths. Do not cut at four and a quarter because you want to give the card enough room to close. So if you did four and a quarter, it's going to want to pop open all the time. So you gave it enough room and then just snail on the sentiment like so. And that's the card. So if you want to win the demo card, um, put a comment in my video and say, I want to win the demo card and put your email address. If you don't, then I can't talk to you. If you order the Pansy Suite or the bundle, you get all the demo cards and the samples uh, that I did for putting together the card. So it's quite the deal. So uh, anyway, if you need to place an order, go to my video comments and or go to the video details and click on the links and that'll do it for me. Thanks. Bye.